3D printed body parts, preppers, aka people who prepare for the end of the world, and the weirdest nail trend yet. Hey guys, glad you're joining me for another episode of Weird This Week. I'm your host, Carly Henderson, and let's get weird. So I'm sure you guys have heard of 3D printing. To be honest, I kind of feel like the term printing is being used loosely, but whatever. Researchers can now 3D print body parts. Uh, what? They crafted ears, skulls, and muscles, planted them into mice, and then the parts not only stayed alive in their bodies, but grew. So apparently there's a little mouse crawling around with a human ear on its back. <laughs> They use human and animal cells instead of the traditional plastic, and it's a pretty major step towards getting more replacement organs for those that need them. Ah, science. So moving along, would you guys be prepared if the zombie apocalypse happened? Okay, if we lost power for a long time, or the internet, don't take it away. I definitely wouldn't, but there are these people called preppers who get super prepared for major disasters, and I hung out with one. Check it out. I'm ready to survive. Okay, so I'm here with my new friend Christopher and your prepper. What are you going to teach me today? Okay, let's start by learning about some of the wild plants that we can use for a salad and maybe a soup. Okay. This is the plant it looks that... looks like parsley. It looks like parsley. Very yeah. good. Very perceptive. It's called poison hemlock. This would kill you. Oh, that sounds like something from the Hunger Games. Nightlock, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is nettles. If you brush your hand uh, on it, you get stung from the acid on the, from the little hairs and of the gonna nettle. Eat it? We're going to eat it. Pinch off the top. The stalks. Oh, yeah. Uh, see, okay, cool. that's good. So now it's you like know. It's fighting back. All right, now you know why you have to be careful with the nettle. Watch your step because everywhere it might be lunch. It's actually not bad. It's good, yeah. It's actually not bad. Okay, go eat it. I hope I was supposed to eat that. See, I'm just sort of taking the tops off, the tender tops. That's probably enough for salad. Okay. All right, we're going to go make a soup and salad. We're going to make a fire. I've never done this before, so I'm pretty excited. You've never made a fire before? No. What about with a bick? Well, not a homemade fire. Okay, a homemade fire. So this is your, your hearth or your base piece. This is your drill. The hard part might be twisting this on. Okay. The little piece of leather is to capture the coal. I'm keeping the drill vertical. Ooh. Doing long, steady, even strokes. It's happening so fast. And I use my mugwort tinder. That sounds like something from Harry Potter. <sighs> Transfer that into here and put pine needles. Have you done this before? Whoa, no, I haven't. See how big the ember's getting? Yeah. Whoa! See, look, <laughs> you did that all by yourself. That was all me, guys. In the urban backyard, what would you be eating? You might have squirrels. You might have pigeon and rats. Oh. Cut it all the way through. Okay, you're using the wrong end. Oh. That's the cutting edge. That's right. <laughs> Welcome to Weird This Week. So you've never had a salad like this before? No. I've heard that a I lot of the it. fancy chefs are really getting turned on to chickweed. I chickweed mean, I is could very, see very people common. People wanting to go to a restaurant and having yeah. something like this. It's cool. Yeah, chickweed is very mild. You're eating with a knife. It's okay, oh, right? It's good. Right? Yeah. Ooh. Plus, when it's cooked, it's a little more mild. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, it is good. Most people panic. They do the inappropriate things. They run around. What I say you should do is make soup. Don't panic, sit and think, take stock of your situation and go from there. Take and, stock. That's right, everybody. Good pun, good pun. Well, she's quicker Super than me, I didn't even get the pun. <laughs> Thank you so much for teaching me all this stuff. Thank you, this hope you had awesome. a good time. Good, good. Huh, who knew grass and weeds could be so tasty? So we all know that fashion is not always functional. You know, looks like these and these. There are some nail trends going on right now that might blow your mind. Yeah, furry nails are a thing. Models rock talons adorned with hair during New York Fashion Week, and now pom-pom nails are the newest trend to follow. I'm gonna put you on my fingers. What's next, hot sauce bottles glued to our fingers? Hmm, I guess some people would be into that. Well, what do you guys think the next weird nail trend is gonna be? And 3D body parts. Can you think of other things that should be 3D printed? And would you be prepared for the end of the world? Hmm, I'm a little closer now. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below. And if you guys like this video, I hope you like it and subscribe. For hollywire.com, I'm your host, Carly Henderson. And until next week, keep it weird. For more weird this week, click the box on the left. And for more Hollywire Hot Minutes, click the box on the right. And don't forget to subscribe.